Number 1. Musée des Beaux-Arts Ninelles. This museum seems small at first glance until you start to visit the lower floors. It seems endless. We especially the Magritte part of the museum. Worth a visit if you're into art. This museum holds some of the world's great masterworks. It is a must if you enjoy art and sculpture. It is in an interesting part of Brussels where there are many antique shops, cafes, gardens, churches and other galleries. Number 2. Musée Constantin Meunier. The Constantin Meunier Museum is one of many lesser known but interesting museums in Brussels. Meunier's paintings, drawings, plaster models and sculptures are presented in the purpose-built house where he lived and worked from 1900 until his death in 1905. We knew Meunier from his impressive and monumental statues of workers, but discovered other aspects of his work here. It took us about an hour to visit. Number 3. Happy Day Art and Live. Want to have a good time in the presence of multiple paintings? Don't hesitate to make a detour on Happy Day. We exhibit paintings of many artists passionate about their work. Every month, a new artist comes to fill the space to satisfy your artistic curiosity. Number 4. Place du Châtelain. I went to the Place du Châtelain market and had a really lovely two hours there. There is a good variety of food including various cheese stalls, fruit, vegetables, breads, waffles and other sweets, Italian food, Thai, Turkish, wine stalls etc. It's a great place to get some great food and wine, try your French although the stall owners seem to be good also with English, mix amongst the locals and people watch. Number 5. Luxembourg Square. On a sunny Saturday late morning I visited Luxembourg Square which is a very important square of Brussels from history, commercial and architecture perspective. It is stone throw away from the European Parliament and hosts several restaurants. It is a very in thing to have after works drinks on Thursday in one of these bar restaurants. The European Parliament also conducts free guided walking tours on weekends and you may book them online. They take 50 people in one tour and it is very good tour. Number 6. Ninel Cemetery? Beautiful cemetery to have a walk around, there's a whole range of bigger, old tombs slash monuments and also a lot of war graves, which are very detailed. We found Orda's grave, but it would be even better if there was a map to find notable people. Number 7. Casa Natal de Julio Cortázar. Apart from looking up at the second floor of the house where Argentine writer Julio Cortázar was born on August 26, 1914 and reading the commemorative plaque next to the entrance there isn't much to do here because the house is not open to the public. But just opposite the house, under the trees lining Avenue La Boutre, there is a rather tormented looking bust of Cortázar, 1914-1984, by Argentinian sculptor Edmund Valladares on a high pedestal, 2005, which is worth a glance. Number 8. Eglise de Carmes. Walking along the boulevard de Waterloo we have Chisto this small church dedicated to the Madonna del Carmelo, built in the 19th century in neo-Gothic style. The side windows made of glass blocks are very particular. The stained glass window depicting Santa Maria del Carmelo, behind the main altar, is also beautiful. Number 9. Galerie Albert Baronian. A must in Brussels galleries, the Baronian Gallery has existed for several decades, offers artists of contemporary art from yesterday and today, Marcel Berthers, Michel Frera, Gilbert, and George, Tony Orsler. The gallery is one of the most established and one of the most prestigious in Brussels, a specialist in international and national contemporary art and always in search of excellence. Number 10. Eglise de la Saint Croix. This, not an old church, has an interesting blend of an Art Deco-ish exterior and a traditional Neo-Gothic style interior. There are traditional Catholic statues of Mary and Saints but also icons and both traditional and more modern stained glass windows. The side chapel where the tabernacle is located for the reserved sacrament is very plain and unadorned except with a cross. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.